So here we go. This is the lower bracket final between Elysium and Rushet. The winner of this game goes on to face uh, Yermans in the grand final. We are going to kick things off here on Gold Rush. This is Rushet's map choice. And we are going to see what the, uh, the Elysium team can do on the attack on their first push. They're going to do a squiz on this side area. He got there pretty late. As you saw the Yera rifle just uh, get popped up. He is going to get taken down nice. Nay comes out from here. He is going to be able to clear out the side. And maybe a bit of space for the Elysium team to just push in onto this side area. You do see a little bit of map control coming in. And a nice long range shot from Squiz does take down uh, Jay there in that corner area. And so they're going to be battling out. Try and retake side. They are pushing in, in the ones and twos. I think they may be going opting for that CP push. I have yet to see anything. Bit of a slow start for the Elysium team. Going to try and pick someone up on their attack. Haven't seen them do that overwhelming push just yet. Insane and uh, an outlaw. Very strong on their pushes in terms of the aim and, and shooting. Trying to expose, the, especially the main defense. I do see outlaw jump through main into corner quite a lot. So... Uh, we're going to see what they're going to do on this next side push. Three players in position to slow this down. and They're going to deal with Rush. Four players, maybe. They are going to be able to get the kills in. Nice play. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be Rush it to come out on top. As the next Elysium respawn comes in. Nice uh, nice starts there from Ross. He did, it did seem a bit shaky. Not like in terms of uh, fear or anything. Just mainly in terms of practice. But he was uh, holding on strong. They're going to deal with another side push very soon. Yera's going to lead the charge for his team. Rifle does come out. Coop's going to be replying with some spam grenades of his own. And they are going to be able to slow down this side push quite heavily. And as you can see, they're going to be on quite a long spawn here. So they're deciding to go fairly slow. Making the next push in towards sides. Respawn of Rushet has just come in. Lots of kills for the Rushet team. Maybe one or two falls for... Uh, for rush it, but the revive seemingly coming in on that back area, so nice, uh, nice recovery, nice rifle as well by Coop. Does manage to take down Insane, who is trying to put on some pressure onto that back area. So far, so good for the uh, Elysium team. They have held on to the tank for a, a long period. Uh, sorry, for the Rush it team, they have held on to the tank for a, a long period as Elysium have struggled to really take control. They've managed to get quite a lot of people onto that side area early on, but not really been able to push on through spam and and basically the the presence of the the rush it players has been enough but here comes the push on the uh for the Elysium team now as you do see them pushing in towards that side area but rush it once again hold on revives again they do manage to get some kills in but no revives uh no gibbs sorry for the Elysium team unfortunately as uh, the jewels do seem to be going their way they are getting a couple more kills but this is on the respawn maybe one full spawn here on the back area and this is a good chance for elysium as they do pick up three kills on this push four players alive at the tank for russia and they're gonna have to get that spam off maybe squizzes it looked like he was a bit afk slash lagged out there just standing next to the tank gonna try and pick up someone on the attack in a decent position nice double thread comes in from raz in the corner area and it's gonna be squiz to pick up a thread of his own as uh it's cherry and raz last couple alive I think uh, Raz decided to stay out on four, but that's a nice little hold for the uh, for the Rush It team. They were having to do with quite a lot of pressure there. The next spawn of Elysium has come in nice. Uh, nice full spawn for Squiz there. Outlaw gets that nade in and the Gib. And got a bit of control here at the side. Yoko taken down as well. Outlaw in position. Some more damage in on the, the opposing players. It does look like the build's going to come in. Yera's putting a lot of damage... A lot of damage, a lot of uh, charge onto this tank. Gib has actually come in on an engineer and a brilliant Gib from Coop. And it's going to be a massive three-man kill from Coop as I think that, that Gib was so, so important. I thought it was definitely going to be Elysium's tank. How did they lose that? I think it was the dive onto the mine. I can't. I don't know who the second engineer was. That was really unlucky. Nice double threat comes in from Ross as well. Going aggressive on that side area just to slow the push down. They, they know that even the smallest of touches on the tank will get that insta-build. Coop is in position just to slow it down. And the landmine from Cherry is perfectly placed to get that double frag. And I think the recharge on that tank is going to be reset. So Rush it's holding on. A bit of a misplaced uh, rifle grenade there from your own. No, maybe a gib on full spawn there from, from Squiz and... That's going to be a bit of a problem, mate. Only, he's only out for 10 seconds. Not so much of a problem. Nice pressure from Raz on this main area. He's going to get in quite a lot of damage. It does get one kill out. 
And that's just about that's just about slowing people down. The respawn of the Russia team are gonna come in. And they're gonna be able to get into position on this next push. One player has made it in through side, but he doesn't survive for too long. Squiz gets a kill as well. And the side uh side defense is holding on fairly strong. They have uh they have had to do quite a lot of pressure. As uh it does seem that they put like Ross, the person who's probably the least practiced of the entire team, front line. And I can understand why, because he'll get warmed up quicker. It'll take him maybe like a couple of minutes and then and then you've got Squiz to fall back onto. Nice grenade there from Cherry on main. He's going to get that kill out. Actually, he's going to go out on full. I thought he would have killed himself, but he's actually going to go out on full. No engineer on the tank for the Russia team. Push coming up back for Elysian. Duck fire comes out from Coop's K43 and... Yoko's going to be able to get those Gibbs in, no problem, so... Oh, the mine. The mine could have been juicy. It could have been a double team kill there, but... So far, Elysium struggling on this first stage. Six minutes nearly, already gone off the clock. They should have had the tank, you could probably say, two or three minutes ago. If it wasn't for that uh, brilliant, brilliant give from uh, from Coop. The, the revive would have come in instantly. He got that Gibb in. He went, he went for the give rather than the frag, and that's a really nice objective play. This frag comes out from Raz. So we go aggressive on main. We'll probably get that give in as well. Tap's actually going to come out. This is indeed the first round. The score is 0 0. This is Rushit defending their own map first. And they've already done a brilliant job. Six and a half minutes off the clock on this first stage is massive. I say, I, I sort of have a, a rule of thumb of, of three minutes per stage. Uh, the side push is going to come in as well. Main, you did see uh, Raz take down Outlaw. And this is Elysium, very, very aim based team, just getting completely annihilated pretty much every turn. They are going to have a, maybe a bit of room to move in onto this side now. It's only one player, I think it's insane. He is in the corner. Sepes coming through main as well. Haven't seen too much of Sepes this game. Nice shooting from Insane. Does get a lot of damage onto the Medic. I think that was Ross, but he does it double team there. And, but here comes the push for Elysium. They have got three, four players in this side area and in corner. Nice grenade out from Coop. But they should be able to move in on this tank very soon. Back players are in position. Engineer is on the tank. I don't think we're going to see some uh, the hero mode this time. And the tank is going to get built up. But they have held it for pretty much half the time. 15 minutes have already gone. Of the 15 minutes, I say. Seven and a half minutes have already gone. And uh, that's a really nice first stage from from Russia. Their map choice, of course. But Elysium are going to be very strong here as well. Now it's to see uh, how Russia set up the next stage. Will they be able to build? It does look like they're going to be put under a lot of pressure onto that, on that... Uh, Barrier stage, as you do see all of the Elysian players all over it. The respawn was not favourable for for Russia. They, they, I think they were all out for about 10 seconds, except Yoko, who managed to stay alive on that back area. We are going to stick with Cherry. He is going to get taken down. No medic support for the Engineer. So I don't think there'll be a barrier build. So they're going to get this stage for free. So that first stage counting for a little bit less now, as... Um, the tank's going to roll on past. They need to get the damage in on the tank or it's pretty much going to count for nothing. They're going to be on that backstage in seven, eight and a half minutes, which is actually not too bad. We do see Yoko lag his way underneath the bridge. Still struggling with 100 ping, I assume. Nice pistol shooting from Outlaw. So close to picking up that frag onto Squiz. It does look like the damage is going to come in on the, on the tank. He's going to slow it down by a few seconds at least. Yero's straight onto that build. And uh, that's going to get built up instantly. Sebhes was in position as well. And the airstrike's actually gone out straight away. I'm getting blocked by the skybox there. As the tank makes it into position with nine, uh, nine minutes off the clock. And that's reasonable now. That's reasonable for the Elysium team. They've done very well to pick up two stages very quickly. Get it past the barrier. Get the tank into position as well in a minute and a half. And now they're on that backstage with what I'm told by Telly is a, is a reasonable amount of time. Five minutes is completely reasonable on that last stage to set a time. So they've got they've got uh, a lot of time on their hands. Insane with the Panzer in his hands. He's going to just bounce down first. He's going to have to jump past this. Uh... Oh, nice. He does actually pick up one, and that's going to be the uh, the filled up on first arch. Unfortunate team kill there comes out from Outlaw. He's not actually going to pick up the revive either, and I don't think there's anyone else in position at the third arch. It's actually going to be Sebes in the bank. He's going to be able to pick up the gold. 
run straight into Squiz's nade. He had his, he had his number, that's for sure. As you do see, rush it now. Set up at, at the uh, at the bank. And they're gonna try and get into position. Insane again with the Panzer. He is gonna be able to take that one. That's three out for full. And Ross at this first arch, he can't get taken down himself. He has to stay alive. As these players are going to be put under a lot of pressure. Pushed back into their own spawn. Yeah, it does pick up one. And I think Ross and Squiz are the only two players alive inside the spawn. Uh, the objective has been picked up. It's just going to go straight across the courtyards. Bounce down underneath the bridge. Gizmo is going to be able to get his time. And they may be able to pick up a pretty decent time here. Considering they get held at the first, start, uh, first stage for seven and a half minutes. In three minutes after that, they've got the, the gold in the back of the tank. Really, really nice recovery from Elysium. As you do see the uh, the truck roll on through. Artillery on the bridge isn't going to be able to slow it down by too much. Gizmo still in position. They are going to be able to slow it down a little bit. 4.20 left on the clock. Jay's going to move forward, trying to move that truck a little bit a little bit more. And it does look like the Allied team are going to keep moving that, that truck forward. I'm going, to, I'm going to pick up Insane again. So the Panzer's uh, in his hands. I don't think he's got the charge just yet. Trying to wait for the opportune moment. He's actually going to get taken down, but the truck's going to keep moving. This is nice delay work from the Allied team, and they're going to set a pretty reasonable time. Around about 10, uh, sorry, 11, 12 minutes. Considering, like I said, they were held for the first stage for seven and a half minutes. That's very good. They give themselves a, a, a chance. If they can get a decent first stage in, then you never know. Then you never, never know. It's going to be 11 minutes, 24 seconds. Looking at the stats. Look at the uh, the rush it team, and we do see pretty much all of the rush it main players doing getting twenty around twenty kills. Yoko playing back didn't have much to do; they didn't really push back too often, and he was pinging pretty badly. Still is a hundred, and uh, so they put, probably put him in the back position just to sort of give him a chance, basically. Um, looking at the attacking team, twenty frags coming out from Outlaw, seventeen from Yura, but. Uh, it was just a roll. It was just a roll. After they got that tank, they completely destroyed every other stage. The, the the barrier, the tank was in position. The gold was in their hands. The gold was in the back of the truck in three minutes. All of that in three minutes. Really impressive stuff. So we're going to see what the reply is from Russia. Their attack should be fairly strong. They are another, again, another strong attacking team. It was very, very well played from Russia to be able to hold it off for so long. I think... If you, if you think back to when Elysium were attacking, they had a chance on the tank where, where they built it up 99%. And I think Yera just stopped building. He, I think he assumed his other engineer had it, who just got killed by a mine. And then you had Coop get that Gibbon on, onto Yera as well. So that was... Uh, you could say there's a bit of fortune there maybe, but you take you take everything. You take anything you can get. You've got, you've got to want it. You've got to want it. And Coop definitely wanted that Gib. As, uh, I think he probably, just that gib alone, with the defense obviously afterwards, added, what, another three minutes to the clock, so. That was well played, waiting for two more players to ready up. So now we have Russia on the attack. Don't let them steal the it tank. does not look like they're going to go towards that CP. Although they have one player edging around that way. That is kind of the standard, aka, quote-unquote, the meta. Where you have uh, someone go CP uh, with Kovi and uh, Engineer to retake that CP off the Axis team. But they are going to get pincered at that side area with the Engineer who built CP taking down one or two as there was a medic in position at the side just helping him out. Push coming in through main. Unlucky rifle grenade comes out from Coop. Pings off the, uh, the, uh, the wall there. And with the Axis player right on the other side of it. So we have got players in position at this side area. It's going to be Outlaw and Insane. Two very dangerous aimers, but they are going to both get taken down as uh, the push comes in towards this side area. Have got Coop backed up by Yoko. Double rifle grenade comes out from Yera, and he's going to be the saving grace for the Elysium team. As he is a very strong rifle. Didn't see huge amounts of him either in the first half of the game. No big, huge kills coming out. Um, no, no, I would I'd say no big game-changing moments from him, but we will see... Probably some nice shots from him on on the on the defense. Let's pick him up if we can. There we go. He's going to go quite aggressive on the respawn. You do see Jay pick up a double frag, and this is where Yero is very good. He just respawns. He knows exactly where players are positioned. 
He knows the calls. He's got Gizmo giving him calls on back. And he'll just get in some free shots. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. Maybe a push coming towards side. I'll try and pick up someone there. Actually, watch it have gone for that CP build. And they've just taken a very long time doing it. Two minutes. Um, I guess they're confident. I guess they're confident. As uh, side the side defense has uh, dropped out. Insane killed himself. They're going to have to move back into position. Very slow. That entire spawn for the Axis. Not really much going on. Yeah, it is going to be able to pick up a double frag. Towards this back area, they are starting to move up back. Two players still in position. Yera again with another double frame. We got four. He is going to be able to pick up four frags on that spawn. Just as I stop, just as I stop specking him, this is the way it's always the way it's going to be. As the push is going to come towards main and and maybe side for the uh, the attacking team. Russia have eight minutes and fifty one seconds left on the clock. Brilliant rifle grenade from Coop does take the, the, down the danger man in Yera, who's very dangerous. R the rifle is a big problem here on the first stage of Gold Rush. If you can take them out for full spawn, all the better. Nice grenade's going to come out. Nearly takes down the medic at main. Sebes leaving him with a fraction of health as he's going to back off. It is Raz who's uh, now going to push in towards main. He has got Sebes to do it. Takes down one. Uh, the player on back is going to get a bit of damage dealt to him, but Raz decides to back off. Now the push comes towards side for Russia. Respawn has already come in for Elysium. Yara in position getting frags. And uh, Rush it sort of uh, run into that brick wall. We saw exactly this sort of defense by Rush it themselves on the last uh, last part of the game. And it does look like maybe Squiz is going to take full spawn here if he's not careful. He is going to try and get away. Doesn't manage to. Maybe no Gib came in, so he might be revival on that back area. As uh, Gizmo had to kill out after getting that frag. Raz is going to try and dive into so into corner, but it's not going to happen. Insane. And uh, I believe that Sebes had his number, getting their shots off at main. Sebes is going to get taken down. Revival coming on towards him, but players are going to have to start moving out of position. This is uh, good not good news for Rush it. A lot of players distracted by this main, this little main push. Maybe an opportunity for a, a back or a side push. As uh, Gizmo is going to be put under a little bit of pressure. He's going to deal with it though. Double frag coming out from him on that back area. And, uh, so far so good. Elysium looking really strong. Double frag with the grenade coming out from Sepes. And for the moment, I don't really see too much from Rush it, which they... Uh, I mean, I don't really see too much from Rush it. What have they done? They've taken a very long time getting CP. They're making some progress. They're getting some frags in. Uh, they haven't really had a big opportunity just yet. Every time they push side, they seem to get heavily dealt with. Nice grenade over the top by Raz. He plays main, so he knows that nade quite quite well. He's probably had to eat that nade a few times himself, so... Here comes the next push from Russia on the side area. They have got a couple of players to deal with. Nice rifle from Coop. Yero with the double rifle grenade reply. He is going to push forward, pick up a three kill. And he is going to decide to kill out. Maybe the build coming on towards the uh, the tank. Nice attempt by by Cherry. Raz was just diving through main. Unfortunately, landed on a, a landmine. But if he would have got in that revive, that would have been the build. Fortunately, I think there was a medic in position at barrel. So all is good. All is good for the the Elysium team at the moment. Maybe a, a small back push to deal with. I say small. Half the team is pushing up back. Four players, in fact. Rifle grenade comes out from Yera. And that is going to be a triple frag. Make that four. No revive comes in from the other on the other medics. And that's brilliant stuff from, from Yero there. He's going to be able to pick up another 4k. We, I said we haven't didn't see too much of him on the on the attack. But on defense, he's been brutal. As he's picked up a lot of uh, double, triple kills. Nice, uh, nice plays from him. And look at this aggressive. This is just annoying aggressive play. He's got 10 seconds to go before his spawn time. Playing ultra aggressive. If he just gets someone out at that point even if they get instantly revived it's just going to tilt them slightly they're going to annoy them and that's really nice uh, psychological play but it's not going to pay off this time ross is in position to push up he's going to repay the favor as he does nearly take down out long on that push towards side nice grenade comes out i hear footsteps it's going to be a, a three-man push on towards side they haven't got much time left five minutes and eight seconds for rush it to get things done i'm going to pick up yara he has been picking up a lot of frags already and he's going to go very aggressive towards the side area. He's got a few players to deal with. He is going to be able to pick up one. But this is going to be rush it to push in through side. Coop's in position. Where's the medic? Brilliant gib from back. Gizmo's going to be able to get that insta gib. 
And that was, I think that was Squiz just in position just to get that revive in. But that was a, such a quick give from uh, from Gizmo. Again, brilliant, uh, brilliant give play from both teams. And we're getting to the point where this is where Elysium grabbed the tank. So Rush it really need to. And then they need to roll every stage. It's going to be very difficult. We are picking up Outlaw here. He's looking towards this main area. He has got a, normally has insane for backup. We have seen him go quite aggressive on the respawn. They're going to go for that back push once more. Maybe three or four players. And this is going to be Yero territory. They know, they know they're coming back. Yero is going to be able to pick up one. He's going to go again pushing forward. Trying to take some more down. But Squiz decides to back up. Abandon his uh, engineer. Four players just... Completely uh, overwhelmed the engineer there. Nice grenade comes out from Squiz. Nearly takes down the error, but is it going to happen for a minute? It does look like Rush are going to get held here at tank if the way things are going. They have managed to pick up quite a few kills, but it's been Yero has been a big problem for them. Lots of frags coming in from him. Push through, through main comes in. Coop's going to be able to make it into the corner area. Does pick up one frag. Maybe going to be able to pick up a second. The build starts coming on towards the tank. It isn't. He isn't going to get revived either. Cherry's in position. And again, the Gib's going to come in. Nice grenade. Insta-Gib. And that's going to be it. That's going to be a tank hold. I don't think they've got any chance now. The, the Elysium team have held on for a very long time here. Nearly just about eight minutes. And that's a really nice first stage hold on Gold Rush. And I did say Elysium, their, their biggest problem is their consistency on defense. And, and be, being able to keep, stay stable. But th that defense was extremely stable. Maybe like one or two moments where it looked like Russia had a chance. But that that really nice give from Gizmo came in, and and obviously rifle grenades from from uh, Yara with the two four man sprees and really just uh, destroyed the entire Russia attack. So we are going to move on to the second map after this. Uh, I guess you could say dead, the dead time, two and a half minutes or so. The rest is frag frag padding. And the second map, I believe, is going to be Supply. Both teams are very strong at this. I'd say, I'd say, even though it's Elysium's map choice, I'd say Rush are probably just a little bit stronger overall there. Just a little bit. By like 1%, if, if anything. I'd say Gold Rush the same, really, if I'm honest. But Elysium, I think this just shows how, how important practice is. They're very well practiced. They're going to know, all know what they're doing. And uh, things have just gone their way so far. I'm going to pick up the rest of the frags for this uh, this gold rush game. It's just going to be pretty much uh, skirmish for the rest of the game. Get as many frags as you can. Push coming in towards the main area. Nice frag from, uh, from Raz. Does pick up one. Can they pick up two? Make that three. Nice little spree from Raz. That would have been a really nice four man. It was a nice three man regardless, but Jay's gonna be able to pick up a double frag of his own as they have taken over the side area. Rush it in position. Maybe get a bit of a confidence boost. Just get their hands on the tank. No one wants to get full held at tank, even if it is only for 11 and a half minutes. Nice uh, two man kill from, from Insane. Nearly gets that triple. I think he had a player helping him out from main there. The uh, I think that was Ross pushing on side. This overwhelming defense. Sepes is even getting in on it. No, engineer SMG. Normally, he's just sort of like tied to the tank. Most most engineers SMG are anyway. Sepes going very aggressive towards that side area. We haven't seen too much of him. Not really been too much asked, if I'm honest. The engineer stuff that he had to do on the first stage, he got very unfortunate getting gived by. The landmine, I think. He, he just ran over it, so it insta gibbed him. And uh, on the defense, when uh, they're not getting really that close to the tank, the engineer doesn't really have that much of a job to do. I think that's it. You prefer it. As an SMG engineer, if you're going to hold and you're not going to have to do much work, you kind of prefer it because that means the other team aren't really getting that far. So it comes to push onto the tank. I think they, m they might not just get it. He's going to start building it. Does that count? Is that still a tank hold? I think that is. I think that is. We'll pick up the frags. 
51 frags coming out from Yera. He went huge in that second half. Absolutely huge. Six point, well, six, nine, nine, nine damage. Uh, who else went big? Outlaw, 42. Seb Hess. I mean, I did say he he didn't have much to do. I mean, he's becoming that sort of cherry, cherry-esque engineer where he just gets two frags a game, uh, two frags a uh, uh, spawn, and then just chills. And that's pretty much what he did. If he got 40 frags nearly, that's two frags a spawn on average, and just chills. And... Uh, well, 6.1k damage as well. Did a good job for his team. Looking across. Two players on over 40 frags. And we have Raz and Coop. Yoko picking up. This, just a, just lacking behind, unfortunately. Like I say, the guy is on 100 ping. And, and that can make a difference, especially if you're not used to it. I know there's anti-lag in ET, but it, it's all about what you're used to. If you're used to 76 FPS, you're going to be able to play with 76 FPS. You can't, like, if you played with it for five years... You can't use it as an excuse. However, if you're used to 125 FPS and then you go to a LAN and somehow, for some reason, you've got 76, you can use it as an excuse. And the player who has 76 before, who's used to it, will have a like boost, if anything. So now we're going to go on to supply. And Elysium normally are very strong on this first stage attacking and defending but they got rolled over by a race in uh, the previous game on this first stage i think they got rolled over in like 40 seconds it was disgusting and that was just off the bat the, the frags coming in from a race they pushed down main and they managed to pick up the flag almost instantly i think it was panzer frags coming in and we also had tony with a double frag on that lower area as well so maybe some lessons learned there just uh, about the grouping and just be ready for that overwhelming rush, which is uh, what the Russia team can do. They, they have got the aim, but they also have got the, the pace. They have got a very pacey attack, which is not really what a race are known for. But in that instance, well, it just worked out. So but now they're coming out up against a Russia defense. It was, pro I'd say, probably one of the most stable defenses on this first stage. Just comms. Everything is going to be fluid. Everyone knows what they're doing. They don't really need to think too much. They, everyone knows their position. And these are very, very experienced players. So everyone's going to have... Like, they know their job. They're probably going to switch things up. They're pro I think they normally have Raz. Do they, do they normally have Raz as Medic on middle? They're probably going to have Yoko there just because he's got ping issues. So you might see Raz drop down to the lower area. However, they may just say no. We're gonna keep Raz in his position. He knows what he's doing, and they're gonna they're gonna keep Yoko, and they're gonna drop Yoko down the middle. And Raz is medic on middle. You might think that's like wasted potential because he's quite a good fragger, but he seems to still be able to get frags as well, even as a medic on middle. So. I think we'll undoubtedly see. Ross is the field ops. Yeah, he's already classed up. And uh, we also see Squiz. Basically, he just Squiz just runs around the entire first bit. He goes from staircase to staircase and up through middle, reviving and shooting constantly. That's pretty much what Squiz does. It sounds like it's just random, but it isn't. He does it. It's all timed. We're gonna see uh, Ross as the field op on this first stage. Arty does go down on the upper area to slow things down. Nice uh, double headshot comes out. Does manage to take down the arrow. Revive did come in. But the RT is going to do the work on the upper upper level. To stop them pushing in on this spawn time. Does actually manage to pick up one frag. Nice uh, nice first spawn for the for the field up on middle. Ross there. And that's the job done. That's the first push held off. And that's what all you've got to do as a defend, defending team. As you do see, Yoko is actually going to be the medic on lower. So... This isn't really a... F I, I don't know. Would you, I would actually maybe say this is the fragging position. You're going to get a lot of free shots. Maybe they're hoping that be a bit of pressure off of him. He is going to be lagging a little bit. I think he's still lagging. Still got 100 ping. He's a very, very heavy aim base player, Yoko. There's another push is going to come into this low area. Putting on a lot of damage. 
He's uh, just going to be able to set things up for Squiz and Cherry in that lower area. The frags do come in Cherry, uh, Squiz on that Luger, so he's going to be killing out very soon. The aggression will probably come out, and that's what I mean by from Raz. In the last 5 to 10 seconds of the spawn, he'll just get into position. Look, another bit of damage. Hands is going to come out from Outlaw in that lower area. Gib did come in, and that Squiz just overwhelmed. Rifle did need to come out from Coop. Double frag indeed. Uh, needed to come out from him. Oh, it's actually Yoko with the double frag, so nice uh, nice from Yoko. Was uh, was giving her a bit of a uh, bit, bit of banner. He's to pick himself up after a bit of a lackluster gold rush, but he was playing in those uh, boring positions, particularly on defense. Nice shooting there. Look at him go. This is it. He's like, I've got, I've got to perform. I've got to perform for the people. <laughs> so, at least him start pushing in. There are actually four players in position. I don't think there are any mines set up, so. Maybe a plant going to be able to go down very quickly. Sepes and Yero with the double um, plant. And they've got the uh, the flag, maybe. I, I saw someone running up for the flag. I'm not sure. Insta defuse has to come in. Rifle's going to get pinged across. Yero! Oh, so close! Cherry and Coop both in position. And they managed to get that defuse in. But the, uh, the, the uh, that is just half a second. Half a second. Brilliant stuff. No Gib comes in. Nice revive comes in from Razen. We are going to see Rush it. Gonna be able to retake that first stage again. We saw this on, on Gold Rush where it was just like a fraction, such a small fraction. Unbelievable. Really, really nice rifle grenade from Yero, but just a fraction too late, unfortunately. As uh, Russia have now set up in this lower lower area. As uh, I do see lots of smileys coming out, loving it, guys, loving it. Can I get a cap of one, two, three in the chat? As uh, we are gonna see three players in this. This down low area, gonna have to deal with Elysium's attack now. Squiz is gonna get taken down. Yero's rifle gonna comes out. As the push comes in, Cherry's gonna be able to pick up at least a triple frag on that push. And that is uh really, really nice. As another artillery is gonna just cover his team. And Ross is just uh, the king of the king of timing for his team. Nice headshots come out. I think there was some squiz there. And they're gonna be able to get another plant down. They managed to push over that artillery. Ross actually dives on his own artillery as, as well, so I said he was the king of timing. I didn't time that very well. But, uh, maybe they're gonna push in for that defuse. Cherry's gonna get taken down and I don't think they're gonna be able to get their hands on on uh, the flag in Oh they do. They did. So the allies are going to spawn spawn forwards. They're going to get their hands on a suit even. But the dynamite's going to blow. So you might see a big team kill come out as they try and go through the door. Oh, the close. Enemy. Close. They are going to push over the top. And they're going to pretty much have a couple of the Russia players who are still maybe waiting. Still waiting. But yeah, the Russia frags do come in. Let's pick up some players on the defense. Yoko lagging a little bit more. Truck spin moved up. No artillery in position. Gives a lot of the Elysium players just the freedom to move across. Nice shooting from uh, Raz there. Picks up another triple frag. He's going to come up from behind him. And he's going to be able to pick up another. Make that two more. Five frags come out from, from Raz. He's going to be able to nearly clean up the entire team. But in the meantime, his own team has been taken down at CP. And the revive train is going to come in from Elysium. Maybe pushing down towards this main area. Yera, this is frantic play. As Elysium somehow take a little bit of control. They are going to be able to get that plant down on main. And they have got control of CP. But they haven't destroyed it. They haven't got an engineering position. They just need to hold on to this main plant. And then they know they're solid. As, uh, that's a really nice attack. Considering you saw Raz get a five-man kill. The revive train was just really, really nicely, nicely executed by the allied team. And you're going to see the dynamite blow. No engineers in position in time. Killouts do come in for for the Elysium team, but they're going to just retake CP. Uh, they need a Kovi and a, an engineer in position. You did see the plant and the defuse going down on east. Not a not a key objective. It was uh, mains the big one. So plant's going to go down on the seaside very soon. You just need to get an engineer in position. Probably going to just concentrate on CP a little bit. As uh, they haven't actually got a Kovi going for CP. They're ignoring it. They're trying to continue the role. This is different. This is different. No, no CP spawn for the Allied team. It's only going to cut a couple of seconds off, to be fair. And if they can keep the Allied team, uh, Axis team, sorry, on the back foot a little bit. Just keep them pushed back in their own spawn. A lot more pressure to deal with. It's very hard. Second, they give the Axis team a little bit of time to set up and get comfortable then. 
Listen, you're probably getting now. The truck's in main. They'll probably go for CP now. Let's see the aggression from Raz. They haven't actually got CP, have they? Oh, they have. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I was in free cam, so you don't hear it when you're in free cam. As, uh, the plant has gone down on that west wall now. And the truck is starting to move forwards. Elysium, uh, this is what I said about their attack. They generally can roll over stages quite well. If they get one stage, they can e easily get two or three. Which is very difficult to do, especially on maps like Supply and Gold Rush, because you're actually slowed down heavily by the, the the tank and the truck. So they're very, very good at this. Yero is going to be able to pick up a double frag on that west side of the of the map, and uh, they are going to be able to get the truck in position. And I think Sebas has done the boost already. So this is what I mean. They picked up the truck, and instantly they're going to be able to. <gasps> no. Oh, Outlaw. I think he would have been taken down anyway. There was two players in the last room. I thought he had it. I thought it was that last man. That would have been... That would have been brutal if it, if it was if it was a, just a, a stage losing team kill. But hey. I'm going to see the Russia team now try and set up a defense in this upper stage. As uh, you do see three or four players. Nice nade comes out from uh, Gizmo. Just head down, nade in hand. That's another Sharky special. <laughs> so we're going to see the, the respawn frags coming in from, from Heya. Very aggressive from Ross. He's going to just try and slow them down a little bit. But here comes the push up top. I want to pick up Coop. He's, uh, he's going to be able to pick up one. He has put a nade out. And that could be a very nice nade. As the next push is going to start coming in. Nice, nice uh, rifle grenade play from Coop. He's going to, actually going to get taken down. Cherry's going to have to get move across into position. Outlaw, I think, is an engineer. He's actually a rifle. That may be a mistake. Again, Raz with a triple kill. Maybe it's a, a lack of gibbs on Raz's part. He's just seeing heads. He's just seeing heads and just shooting heads. Like, I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Sometimes you need to give. Nico's hanging out in the Axis spawn. Isn't really given much of a chance to leave it, so just just hold on there as long as you can. Just distract them, maybe. He has uh, managed to slow down the Allied team by a little bit. Coop's going to be in position with a brilliant rifle grenade bounced off the wall. Double frag comes in. Squiz as well with the MP40, and the revive will come in. So this is a, a very very uh, good up top defense so far, but it's going to get slightly overwhelmed now. Squiz has been taken down. Coop does uh, eat his own grenades, so. Now on Ross, he does manage to take down Jay. Nice shooting from Ross. He's going to slow him down a little bit more. It's going to be Yoko coming in from behind. Are they going to be able to get their hands on that plant? And it's going to be Cherry and uh, and and Raz to hold on. I'm going to pick up Raz. He's going to be shooting faces. He's going to decide to back off. Short spawn time. Overwhelmed by Insane. It's all going to be on Cherry up one it's just good slow down play regardless plant a build is going to come in in this back area and uh, it's going to be the button pressed as well i was hoping to see a big panzer there there was an opportunity very small there was an opportunity and, uh, as, as much as I, i'd like to say elysium have been just rolling it over russia have done a really good job of just slowing down every stage by like a little bit a little bit so there is a quite a lot of time already drained off the clock they're going to set at best an 11 minute time. And that's if the truck isn't really stopped at all. You do see a lot of frags getting picked up at main. But Gizmo is just given a lot of freedom just to move the truck all the way around to east corner nearly. And he's going to get it now near the east wall. So they're going to have easy access through this east, uh, east entrance. And, and main is very close as well. Gizmo, again, he's just allowed to just... Roll on through main, moves the truck a little bit more, and they've got four, four or five players on, on truck. How? Did Rush it go out back? I think they did. As uh, Jay's going to be able to move the truck on through main, and this is just a matter of time now before Elysium have the truck all the way escorted. And this was. Uh, they could have added maybe another minute to the clock, Rush it. And we'll see how important that was, or that will be. As, uh, I thought that was going to be an airstrike. Cherry's going to do his best just to slow it down. Even if he gets like one or two seconds, he's done his job. Nice prone there. So a nice little use of prone there from Yara. 
Artillery is on the road. Lots of Elysium frags come in, but this artillery should pick up Insane. How? How is he still alive? So it is going to be an ele a pretty much exactly the same time. 11 minutes 24 was the, the time they set on the first map. Well, they set 11 minutes 24 again. It is. It's going to be 11 minutes 24 again, isn't it? Oh, it's going to be just a little bit faster. 11 minutes 25. A little bit slower, even. <sighs> Exactly the same time. So let's look at the stats. 30 frags coming out from Raz. 4.1k damage. Ross picking up 4.7k damage. He was the filled up on middle. He's going to be getting... That's what I mean. But I said this about Raz. He picks up most frags and highest damage. But he's playing medical middle. Generally not the what you see. But he got that huge five man on uh, the main road. A couple, uh, At least one or two other three four man. So he was going spree heavy. Now look at the other team, Yera, 23 frags, doing a good job for his team on attack. Insane with 3.2k damage. We saw, I don't know, some mad plays from Gizmo getting that truck moving. I mean, they just didn't pay attention to him. You can hear it moving around the map, just no attention. So here we go. This is going to be Russia attacking for their survival. If they don't win this, this map... Of course, they will be out, and it'll be Elysium going on to the Grand Final, where we might be seeing the Grand Final after this game. I'm not 100% certain. Nice rifle grenade off the bat from Yera. Does take down one coop. His uh, opposite number. The rifle for Russia is taken down. Rifle comes out again. They're not going to be able to connect this time. So again, quite a slow start here. For the, uh, for the Russia team. Panzer's going to come out. I think they were just waiting for a spawn time. They wanted to get a good spawn time. And they want to just check out the spawn of the Axis. Try and get some full spawns in. Uh, especially if they, they started off with that Panzer. You either get that Panzer off quick. Or you wait for the spawn. So Push is coming in now for Russia. They've got five players all grouped up. Rifle grenade could be huge. Yero's going to be able to pick up a lot of damage. But one kill. I think they got cleaned up. By the remaining uh, Elysium players. Here comes the Russia team now on the attack. Outlaw opts to go for an airstrike. I think he's getting a bit worried that they're going to be able to just overwhelm his lower defense. He does manage to pick up one frag, but... I don't know, the artillery is sometimes a bit more... I I'd say airstrikes actually on this stage aren't so bad. Because it's a bit more... A bit more coverage. There's not as many places to hide for the attacking team. Raz is going to start making his way in as the respawners for Elysium trying to get into their positions very quickly, but will they be quick enough? Nice uh, aggression. I think maybe one player is on the flag for the Russia team. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get his hands on it. Double rifle grenade comes out from Yera. I don't know how he got that angle. He was on middle and I think he must have bounced it off the window frame. Firing for a big right shot. They are going to be able to hold on. 9 minutes 30 remain. Oh shit. Respawning in. Artillery has gone down. Quite an aggressive artillery. So stopping him going up the back wall, I think. Yes, double artillery comes down. As uh, Squiz and Cherry both taken down. Only for about five seconds as they were a bit slow coming out of spawn. They're worried about grenades. They uh not too worried about that artillery. But a very aggressive play from Elysium. Yeah, he's gonna push forwards. Nice grenade. I think he had someone behind him then. Gonna try and get another. It's not gonna happen for him. I'm gonna pick up someone in the attack now. Who's gonna bounce down? He is, he's gonna just see all of his team just get destroyed in front of him. Decides to kill out. Tries to take one with him, but it's not gonna happen. Rush it. Need to get things get things going. Yeah, uh, looked, looked very very poor on their on their gold rush attack. Another artillery has gone down. Or was it an airstrike? I think it was an airstrike again. We have got a pan the Panzer in the hands of Cherry once more. Elysium fully set up on middle. I'm going to pick up Outlaw filled up. Uh, shooting extraordinaire for the uh, Elysium team. As, uh, Russia are starting to pick up a few frags. Nice gib comes in in that low area, but the kills come in for Russia. So they're going to be pretty much giving it all up. I think they've got one out for full as well. Coop taken down by Outlaw in that middle area. Now comes the bouncing in from Russia. Cherry's uh, very low on health. The truck has been moved in as well. And Outlaw somehow gets a grenade killing. 
And that is, this is going to be a really big problem. That truck in that lower area gives them so much cover. Elysium are just going to be fully, uh, fully covered to shoot from behind the truck. Sit, even sit on top of it and prone if they need to, to escape. It's much harder to get in. Panzer shots as well. The splash damage gets blocked by the, the truck. And this is uh, not looking too good for Russia so far. 7 minutes 25 left. Getting drained off the clock. This is just the shooting range. Elysium picking up all the frags again. Pick up Sebes. Sebes has, has his moments on this first stage. The, the spam and the, the mines in position. He's going to get taken down. We'll, we'll catch him on the respawn as well. Comes the push into this low area. He's not going to be able to pick up that frag, but I think Coop has made it in. And uh, decides to kill out again. Obviously, doesn't want to get full, but. Rush it frags are going to come in, and that was actually. Seems to have paid off as Rush are going to be able to get more frags coming in. Coop's going to push down and get a, a grand kill as the next pushes come in. I think they may be able to get their plant down as long as the engineer's alive. He isn't cherry, he has actually been taken down. And. Uh, the respawn of Elysium is going to be in position. Another airstrike comes out from Insane. And this is going to be able to pick up two Coop and Squiz in that corner. Just get hit with the last the last artillery shell. Outlaw picks up a three-man kill. And Elysium just look too strong. They look very, very strong. Very well prepared. It does look like they sort of learnt their lesson after their humbling by a race on, here on Supply. They did recover, of course, to win the game, but... At first stage, I was very surprised to see a race uh, just roll them over, so... It can sometimes be good for a team for that to happen, though. Obviously, when they come up against a team like Russia, they kind of expect that it's going to be a much... A very, very hard game. Maybe a bit of complacency. And you shouldn't really be complacent when you talk about a, a race. Especially considering E2 United land. Those guys did a really good job there. Five minutes, 20 on the clock. This is almost the last chance of Russia, really, to get this stage. We'll be going out of the tournament in third place. And Elysium will be moving on to the final. To face Yeomans. Frags have come in. They've managed to pick up three. This is a small opportunity. I'm not sure what the revives were like. Kills are going to start coming in for Elysium. Double grenade, though, for, for Outlaw. They have managed to pick up one give. Nice play from... Squares. He is going to maybe able to pick up a second frag. Big backup from uh, the, another engineer or medic on the other side of the map. On the uh, other stairwell, sorry. I think that might have been Jay or Sebes. That looked like Insane was going to get taken down as well. Nice push from Raz. He's going to overwhelm uh, Jay a little bit. Nice double headshot to save the day. Again, rush it. Getting some frags in. Ross is going to be able to pick up a double frag, but... Four minutes and uh, 20 seconds left on the clock. The arrow taken down on middle, but teammates very quick, very, very quick to uh, react. And all the frags, just look, all of them. All going Elysium's way. It was brutal to watch. This is what I mean with the truck. Look at how much cover it gives them in that lower area. They can uh, easily just dive out of the way. Nades can't really get pushed in. Hands are very hard to get the angles. And it does look like uh, this is it for Russia. Unfortunately, they're going to get held here at first stage, it looks like. Elysium done a really good job. On Gold Rush, brilliant job. On here on Supply, again, brilliant job. Oh, my nice rifle. Right, it's just insta give there. They have, they have decided to pick up an MG, but I think he got taken down. Cherry's the, normally the player that would go for that. i pick up Yera for a moment. Where is he? There he is. He's gonna, he is actually going to miss spawn. 
So this might be a small chance I'll rush it, but time is not on their side. Double frag comes out from Outlaw in middle, and Sebes is going to push out and, and just take Cherry down on Cave as well. And this is definitely GG now, I'd say. I, think so. I don't think it's possible. Roll every stage, I don't think it's possible. And this is very well deserved. I mean, it looked like it could go the opposite way. Let's be honest, we saw Elysium get held at tank for what must have been, what, seven, seven and a half minutes? They nearly got the tank a little bit before that, but seven and a half minutes. And then, uh, well, it's just it's just all been Elysium since then. Really rolled over the, the, the rush it defense on the remaining stages. Took every stage in four minutes. Every stage after tank in four minutes is really impressive. And on here on here on supply, their attack was a slowed down a little bit. Their first stage, every stage, like I said, rush it added minutes, added minutes, added minutes. They did a good job. But this first stage here for Elysium is just uh, looking very well synchronized, and it does look like they allow rush it to shoot them from long range quite well. And the second rush it gets close enough, they just get everyone pops out. Everyone pops out of their little spots. This is lining up a really, really good final. I hope, hopefully, hopefully, Yermans have something for these guys. Because uh, Russia unfortunately didn't have enough. Cherry is going to be able to pick up three frags, but with just about a minute remaining, we're going to see the end of this game wind down. I mean, it's going to be a four to zero victory. Elysium. This is uh, the famous stats padding phase of the game. Another airstrike comes down from, from Outlaw. GG is called. As I said, we are going to see Alicia move on to the next stage, which is the grand final. They are going to come from the lower bracket, though, of course. This is the lower bracket final, so they will have to beat Yermans twice, which is no not easy at all. 360 no scope knife. I don't know about that one. And like I said, it's not going to be easy at all. Beating them once is going to be difficult. Beating them twice. I don't know. Let's look at the scores. 55 frags again from Yera. He was playing huge on this on this map as well. Outlaw 47. Outlaw with 8.5k damage. But if you look at Russia, they I mean all their damage is okay. It's pretty good. I mean the damage difference isn't even that big. 10 frag difference. It's just it was all on the first stage on their attack, unfortunately. The Russia team didn't really get on get much further. And it is, like I said, that's going to be a 4-0 victory for Elysium. And they'll move on to the next stage, which is the grand final, where they'll face Yermans. And that is lining up to be a, a pretty good game. Elysium look on top of on top of their own game. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully Yermans are, are on point as well. And we should be, be seeing a very, very good clash. I did say at the beginning of the tournament, Elysium looked like a team that could go all the way. Well, they've got their chance. This is their chance.